All right, China versus HRE. So he's going to have a, a quicker power spike than me on the water, which is a big deal. But we are going to be slightly better afterwards. So a lot of this one can come down to surviving the start. I think I'm feeling a bit better today. It's very warm still. Very warm. My cat is in a, My cat is in a super uh, needy mode this morning. Super needy. It happens. Yeah, the shorefishes don't matter too much. I would have liked it if I didn't delete that left one just so I could have put a dock there, but alas, these things happen, team. These things happen. Shoreline fish are. they don't replenish, which is a big deal. It's a big deal when it comes down to the nitty gritty. Here yeah, we should be getting uh, boosted wood. So finally can start maybe rivaling his income a little bit with that prelate, but it's a tricky one, it's a tricky one. I would like to get uh, 125 wood for the village. I'm not sure if I can do it though before uh, I'll do it like this. It's a bit more efficient wood-wise, for sure. Oh my... Wait, what? He's going for a shoreline fish? I guess he felt that his deep-sea fish were way too far away. I'm not sure. I wonder what the math is on that, actually. Very interesting. Because I think that's why. Okay, so he does have enough uh, gold to tech up here. So that's significantly more than we have, isn't it? Significantly. I'll put my other one. Can I not put it there? Why does that dock feel so far on the land? It felt so far on land. Good day from Sydney. Hope you recovered from the weekend. Thank you, thank you, KPK. I'm I'm fairly I'm fairly recovered now. Yeah, fairly recovered. Um, everybody in the house is a little bit sick, which uh, definitely sucks. But can't complain too much about uh, 
the weekend. It's still affecting me. Oh, you know what could be cool, actually? Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like this. This could be fantastic, actually. Hopefully it's gonna be fantastic. So how many do I have? Like, going to be about 13? That's definitely good, it's definitely good. Uh, don't need him on that anymore. The one thing I like here is that these docks are so close now to this Imperial Academy, and they're boosted. That's going to be a lot of extra uh, income, actually. Maybe I'll put my Barbican eventually over... Barbican placement is something I have to think about now. You know, I'll, I'll make it a fairly early um, jobber over here. Demo ships, not necessary, but just to have it so my uh, docks are actually making a unit. So his power spike is quite a bit faster than mine when it comes to like water combat, which is what I'm uh, fighting against right now. Oh shit. Got a lot of gold. Which is good. But... For more wood. But I can start utilizing that gold now for demo ships, which is good. What does he have? He doesn't actually have any, um... He doesn't really... Oh, okay, he does have a damn shit. It's that power spike I talked about earlier. It's, it's happening, it's here. Oh, 
Oh, we definitely got the better of them here. And these little engagements, didn't we? Definitely did. Oh, that was big back. Yeah, look at my gold. It's actually insane. What a what a uh, funny situation. I'm making a lot of uh <laughs> what we got? Obviously a ridiculous game, right? Oh, dude, the worst thing that could ever happen to me is like the demo ship pops out and blows up everything I've ever loved. has like a bunch of docks over here or something you know because i'm obviously uh out fishing him quite a lot here which is great so i think i can start saying to myself all right let's uh we'll start taking up very soon and these are his last fishing boats by the looks of it Now, what could I potentially die to? I mean, he's making a lot more docks. That's something that we have to uh, respect, isn't it? And actually, you know what? He's starting to clear out my uh, fleet. Now, we have obviously started uh, transitioning a little bit, but I still don't particularly want to uh, just give up this uh, control that we have, so... So we are going to uh, reclaim it. 
And yeah, I think I think what we've got here now is more than enough, you know, more than enough. Um, what's this? Hopefully more than enough. Holy fuck. How's he doing it, team? How's he doing it? It's Leonok the fucking wise. All I wanted to do in my life was tech up. Oh, I was like, is he going to DC here? Yeah, that one's burning, so that one will eventually die. That's good. That's good for his team. Oh. Let's get a little blacksmith. Just get the arrow upgrade, I reckon. What a game. What a game. Oh, <laughs> GG. <laughs> that, that was so ridiculous, dude. That was so ridiculous. <laughs> I actually felt like I had him on the ropes the whole time. Actually, where's his next wood? Okay, okay. But then, then he would keep fighting back, and I'm like, "Stop it! No!" Um, we'll have a quick look at the eco here. Uh, so yeah, we did have quite a lot more, quite a lot more. Like once we against HRE, one thing that I've noticed, if you're Chinese, so Chinese have Chinese and HRE are two of the absolute best on water. But if you're HRE against China, you have like a small window when you, when you, where you're quite ahead because the prelates, a starting with the prelate, you get your tech up nicely. The prelate boost on wood is really damn good and if you can get it on like wood and gold early on then you're gucci so that that quick boost of the archon is super significant so you have to you have to kind of make a lot out of it early on that's kind of what i've learned from uh, loose front and vortex on water maps but if china can withstand they obviously become the best because you can move around your uh 